So the best weapon in Wolong. It's got a certain pizzazz. A feeling it gives you like no other. And oh, I love it. Donk, donk. Hello, uh, my uh, fellow uh, newly along woers of Wongly Lowing. How are you enjoying the Fallen Dynasty and probably repeatedly dying like I did on your way through the beginning chapters of the game? And you might be wondering, well, the game is just piling different weapons on me and they all seem pretty cool, but there's a lot to take in here as well as do I care about fire or wood or metal or water or please, God, somebody help. And well, I am here to offer that help as I wish to present to you both the best weapon in the game to grab and use early, how to get it, and the two stats associated with it, and why they are the best two stats to pump early for a smooth, easy, woe long experience. So, we are going to be having a look then at the quarter staff, or at least more specifically, the White Wooden Cudgel. This thing is just glorious. Donk, donk. Yes, even beyond the amazing sound it makes when you hit things with it. So before we go over why it is so good, let's first go over where to get it. You've got two main options. The earliest that I have seen it is a random drop from the sort of mini boss soldier before the first boss of the game in the tutorial starting Burning Village area. From um, this uh, battle standard head on round and not long you will reach him and he has a chance to drop a lovely cudgel and mine dropped here at two stars but the star level doesn't actually matter in terms of how useful this weapon will be in its damage output it simply affects uh, the special effects which we don't really need to worry about for now that said then, the guaranteed way is post the first boss of the next stage of the game when you meet the blacksmith. You'll know it because it will happen just after the werewolfy thing and give her a chat and you can buy one from her wares. She will always sell one and 10,000 isn't too much to get to. You will probably have a mountain of spare armor and equipment by this point that you can sell to raise the funds if you don't already have it outright. So, you've got your cudgel. Now, first and foremost, its guaranteed special effect that it will always come with is increased spirit gain. This is great as it will make you harder to stun by depleting your spirit as you're gaining it faster and also let you use your wizardry and martial arts more often. So that's just nice. The actual moveset then is where this shines. It is a very long reaching, high forward momentum moveset that puts a lot of pressure on anyone you attack because it makes you stick to them like glue. A lot of the weapons don't really move you that far while you're going through uh, their combos, which has a side effect of you just kind of ending up drifting away from the enemy as they tend to back up quite aggressively when you're wailing on them. And if you're surrounded by a group and such, well, that will just let you get dogpiled while the person you were trying to kill is over 10 feet away from you. At least I found that happened quite a lot. It also lets you just stick to a boss really easily following them around the arena, ready to counter them consistently as you pummel them with your cudgel. You can see the difference between, for example, the basic sword moveset and the cudgel in just how far forward it moves you while still maintaining such a rapid sequence of attacks. We also then have the fact that uh, the uh, special attack, the triangle, the uh, spirit attack is a very, very nice attack. The upswing also does damage, you gain a lot of distance, and then the downswing is very heavy hitting. And indeed, the combo of square, square, triangle, light, light, spirit, repeatedly, obviously managing your spirit, is absolutely deadly, and nearly every single early enemy and boss will kind of just be beaten into submission by it, as long as, of course, you still counter their deadly attacks, as a lot of the time they cannot be interrupted by just hitting them. So that 
that is really excellent and basically the moveset of this weapon solves a big problem you might find yourself having going through the early levels. But of course, it gets better. Its martial art is solid, it's a nice AoE clearance around you, and then a very long reaching poke. Just like the standard uh, heavy attack spirit, if you're not comboing, is a nice long reaching poke. This will very much come in handy. But the scaling on this thing is really where it's at, because it scales primarily with wood and then secondarily with metal. Now it won't actually start of course on B and C, I've upgraded it twice which you will do very quickly and early on with basic materials at the blacksmith, but the points still stand. And wood is a fantastic stat to level if you're new to the game, if you're unsure what to go, if you're early on, as it essentially translates to you will take less spirit damage and be stunned less often which is good but more importantly you gain seven character total health per rank of this compared to just three from the other four stats which means not only are you powering up your actual damage output on this weapon with already a great reach great moveset and great uh, critical attack you also then are making yourself exponentially harder to kill, which will make everything feel so much more forgiving as you get to grips with what's going on. And then the secondary stat it scales with in metal is essentially the wizardry spam stat, which basically makes your wizardry cost less spirit, and it will let you maintain high spirit levels for longer. And then when we actually hop over to the wizardry that these two stats fuel, well, wood gives you access to really potent, useful buffs, such as take less damage, get rid of your debuffs, build your divine beast faster, this absolute gem, which is your attacks heal you, which will keep you going long beyond when your actual healing charges run out and is an absolute MVP. And then on the metal side of things, you gain access to poison, poison weapon, poison blobs, which is some of the highest damaging wizard options to let you just whittle down opponents while kind of kiting and evading and dodging them and playing hit and run. So those two stats primarily focused on wood in combination with this weapon will enable you to die a lot less, deal a lot more damage more easily and have access to two of the most just solid wizardry trees right from the start and then it all comes together to really give you the best foot forward when it comes to your woe long journey. So if you are finding yourself overwhelmed by the options, if you're not sure what to go for, if you're not sure what weapon really does rock to begin with, let me heartily recommend you then the White Wooden Cudgel. Find the highest star one that you can and forever enjoy bonking thine enemies to death with that sweet, satisfying donk donk sound as it goes crashing down. The pressure this thing applies really is fantastic. For now then, like if you have enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, let us know what woe long you would like to know about, anything that you're struggling with, anything you'd like explained, and we will of course be here to do just that. For now, please consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice, to reiterate that it is nice, to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage, is, uh, goodbye.